All right. Howdy, folks. Mr. Dell here. We are working on, this is um, from CPM's CC2, so course two. This is section um, 4.2.2. Uh, Oops. Um, specifically looking at number 69. Okay. And this is asking us um, about, a, it's, it's a word problem that has to deal with fractions. So we're going to dive into this world of fractions based on a real world situation. And so let's read this. So it says, at your first job, you may be amazed to learn that one fourth it's going to be important. One fourth of your paycheck will go to pay taxes. Suppose the amounts listed in parts A through C below are earnings for three employees. Determine how much of each paycheck will go to pay taxes. So we have three different problems. It's not a multiple choice. We have A, our first employee makes $84. So it, want, it wants us to determine how much is going to go to taxes. Determine how much of each paycheck will go to taxes. So my first paycheck is $84. How much of that's going to go to taxes? Well, it says one-fourth of it. So it's one-fourth of 84, right? One-fourth of 84, you have multiplication, a fraction times a whole number. How do we do that? Put the whole number over one. We can multiply straight across, which I get 84 over four. And then we know that the fraction symbol also means division. So it's 84 divided by four. And when I do the division, I get two, one, I get 21. So $21 of that 84 will go to taxes. There's my answer for A. So for B, the, the amount of the paycheck is 128. So again, what's one fourth of 128? So we have multiplication of a fraction times a whole number. Put the whole number over one, multiply straight across, 128 over four. Again, the division symbol, the fraction bar is the division symbol. So I wanna know how many times is 128 divided by four. Here we can go, four goes into that, 32 times. So we have $32 goes to taxes if your paycheck is 128. Last one, 210. So C is $210 is the paycheck. How much of that goes to taxes? It's one fourth of 210. Okay. One of the things I wanna point out too is you can also, when you're multiplying fractions, I'll show that as a little aside here. When you multiply fractions, you can do something. Let me rewrite them. One fourth times 210 over one. When you're multiplying fractions, instead of waiting to do the division, you can actually do this uh, simplifying diagonally. I can go, well, let's just divide each of these. Let's start with uh, two. I know two goes into four and two goes into 210. So we'll let's start with that. Two goes into four twice. Two goes into 210, 105 times. So now I can look at this um, as uh, 1 times 105 is 105 over 2 times 1 is 2. So it simplifies it before I actually do the multiplication. Now if I'm looking at this, again, I do still need to divide to get my number as money. That doesn't simplify as a fraction any further, but it will divide. So I can go 2 into 105. When I divide 2 into 105 or 105 divided by 2, I end up, let's see, it goes into that. Uh, five times multiply, 10. Uh, then you bring down the five and you ask how many times does five go into five or two go into five? It goes in there twice. Multiply, you get a four doing the long division. I get one, but now I have a remainder. So I need to continue on, add a zero, bring down the zero, add a decimal in my final answer up there, bring down the zero. Now two goes into 10, five times. So that's where I end up for this problem. My final answer is going to be $52.50. All right, there you go.